it's Joe Francis here again and today we're going to do another cooking tutorial because everybody seemed to really like the lot key tutorial that I did back in January I think so it's been a while since I've done a video for you at all so today's lesson is tortillas yes homemade tortillas they're super simple um, this little yellow post-it note is my recipe card I've been using it for about a decade now and I think I might need to transcribe it a bit but here we go. Uh, we're going to start out with three cups of plain flour, and that's about 375 grams if you're weighing. Just dump that into a bowl here. Uh, next up is salt and baking powder. It's one tablespoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt, and we'll just mix that in there. Give that a quick mix in together. And then next up is oil. The recipe itself calls for just oil, vegetable oil. Um, I use olive oil. It gives it a little bit nicer flavor. And I also use more than the recipe calls for. The more oil you use, the softer the tortillas are. So the recipe calls for three tablespoons and I use four. But I'm also a little generous and if it spills over a bit, well, that's okay. Um, olive oil is good for you, right? So pop that in and we mix that up a little bit. Next up on the ingredients list is water. It's one cup of water or about eight ounces. Um, however, I don't do it all in at once. I do it little bits at a time because what I find is that you don't actually need all of it. Um, it you know, I, I suppose it depends on the temperature and everything else, but what you essentially want is a doughy consistency. Uh, you're meant to start mix it in with your hands, which is why I'm not wearing any rings yet. Um, but I generally start out with a spoon, and then I will switch to my hands any moment now. Get it mixed in a little bit here for you. Are you glad that you're watching all of this? Because nobody knows how to mix dough, right? Um, I don't like to over knead it because I worry that much like a flour a pie pastry or something, it might be a little bit too, too kind of tough. You knead it too much. But I think we're okay here. Um, and of course you get all the goopiness here. Um, I should stop frame so that you don't have to see all of the mixing. But basically, we're going to mix it and you're going to get to see it all because, well, I'm not a professional video editor and so there you go. Mix it up into a bowl. Oops, there goes the floor. Um, Cover it up with a tea towel, and then we're just going to let it sit there for about 15 minutes. And while that's sitting there, I'm going to de-dough my hands, and um, I'll be back. Okay, has it been 15 minutes yet? Um, I'm a bit impatient, so who knows. But there we go, we're going to take off our tea towel, and have a look at our tortillas. That's going to be eight or ten tortillas. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Uh, the next step is rolling them out and start out kind of lightly flour your surface. Um, I'm not a fan of my new counters, but they'll do. They're better than nothing. I I like to cut my my roll. I just think that it's nicer. I can get it into even pieces that way and that makes me happy. So I'm going to actually do eight because I can cut it into even bits if I do that. And so look, they're pie shaped. So I'm going to cut up my eight even pieces and then we're going to roll it out. I'm going to pop seven of those in there. You might be looking at my little counter space here and thinking that I'm drinking as I cook. But actually this is my rolling pin. 
I would generally use an empty wine bottle because I don't actually have a rolling pin at the moment. Um, but I don't have any empty wine bottles because the recycling went out. And even then, there was only one empty wine bottle in there, please. Uh, so I had a choice. I could either open up a bottle of wine and empty it, or I could try something new and roll with a full bottle. So we're going to roll with four full bottle, and this is extremely cheap and cheerful Syrah from Tesco. We're going to roll out our tortillas. Um, and again, you know, unlike the store-bought ones, your homemade ones are probably not going to be perfectly formed circles, but that's okay. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because they're homemade. So there you go. That's a tortilla. I'm going to roll out the rest. It's kind of triangle shaped, I guess, because I sliced it like pie. I'm going to roll out the rest, and you don't have to watch me do that, but as soon as I get them rolled out, I'll bring you back, and I'll show you how super duper easy it is to cook them up. So, um, one tortilla down, seven more to go, and I'll be back. Okay, I am back, and I'm going to show you the last bit of this whole tortilla making malarkey, and that's the cooking stuff. So, I've got my frying pan, I've got it on hot, hot, hot heat. And I'm going to go ahead and slap this sucker in. And you don't want to cook it long, just a few seconds on either side. The idea is to get it those kind of brown spots that you get when, when you get them in the store. Um, you, you know, you can't really undercook or overcook. You can burn it, I suppose. But there we go. I'm going to flip it and let it cook on the other side for a few seconds. And that looks like it's good. I'll turn the heat off there. And oh yeah, he's a beaut. So that's them all cooked. I'll find a less hot one here to show you guys the finished product. So there you go. I don't know if you can see it's got some of the brown spots there. Um, they're nice and warm and flexible. So that is it. That is flour tortillas from scratch. Super, super simple to make, and I hope that you guys agree and that you're going to give them a shot. I'm going to enjoy these things tonight, one of them with a little bit of butter, fresh from the farmer's market, and I also picked up some fresh olives and smoked salmon from the farmer's market today, and so I might kind of whip up a wrap with those things later. And the rest of the tortillas, they'll get used for wraps for lunches throughout the week, and um, they last three to four days before they start going a bit stale. And depending on how you store them, they might go a little bit off moldy or anything, just like any other bread-based, flour-based product would. So I recommend making them when you're planning on eating them within a couple of days, but they're super, super simple. And I'm going to go and enjoy them now, and maybe I'll open up that flour-encrusted bottle of wine to enjoy with them. So thanks for stopping in. I hope that you've enjoyed my little rambling, and um, hope to see you soon. Bye!